this is just a short one um, around the blade and a bit of an issue that I've encountered on a couple of kegs. There's been an issue with this valve. You know, I say it's only happened a couple of times, but it's this bit here. So there should be a gap, should be a, a gap there. If it's pulled down like that, it's pulled down like that and there's a gap there, you've got no problem. That's normally, that's how most of the kegs, all apart from two, have, have effectively arrived. But I did have one where where that was a little bit closer like that so there wasn't the gap i'll post an example of what it looks like um just now i was just trying to get this bit in there and there's and all that happened is it just got pushed up a little bit uh not fully but then the, the beer starts put uh, pouring out of that bit and um, that keg's empty now which is why it's not not doing it. I wouldn't chance it with a with a full one um, so you can see how it just pours out but effectively if that is, is in if it's in that position fully open you find it'll work in the pump if it gets pushed in like that then it'll just pour out it's um, a feature that they put on here to uh, to allow you to drain a keg, I guess if the sell by date's gone or something like that. You can see on that one, it takes quite a bit of effort to actually open and close it. It's not something that you, you should be able to do by accident. And beer's flowing out the keg, just absolutely pouring out, is because that valve is set to, um, to open, which is effectively to allow you to drain the keg. Um, and it literally is just that that is there's not a gap there so you you just need to pull that just pull that until there's a gap until it goes all the way out and then the beer will stop flowing um, maybe i was just a bit unlucky when it arrived when that one faulty one arrived and uh clumsy when i pushed that in a little bit too hard uh, but i thought i'd just post this just in case anyone else had a similar problem and didn't know what was going on